how to work with margin and padding. And to demonstrate this, what we're going to do is we're going to create two of these line images and then we're going to be adding a button to this. So let's dive into our text editor. And what we're going to do is we're going to first, we're going to take our image here, we're going to copy it, and then just right below it, go ahead and paste it. So that's going to give us two images. And I also want to make the image smaller so we can see both of the images on the screen. So come over to our uh, border image class and the width and the height that we put on here. Go ahead and change this to 200. All right, so let's come over to our text editor and check that out. Go ahead and refresh. And you can see that we have two images here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to first work with margin. And what margin does is it takes an element and it creates space around the element. The element is going to push itself away from surrounding elements. So come back into our text editor. And right now on our images, we have a display of block and a margin of auto. And I want you to go ahead and get rid of that. All right, and then we'll clean this up just a little bit. And then what we want to do is on this image, go ahead and create a margin. We'll create a margin uh, property here again. And this time we're going to put a number value in this. And so we have a margin of auto, and then we can also use a number value of either a pixel or a percentage. And in this, we're going to do a pixel. So I want to create a margin of 60 pixels. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save that and then come into our browser, refresh, and you can see with getting rid of the margin auto and the display of block, it's floated our elements over to the left, which is great, but you can see that we've got this space around each element. So I want you to go ahead and inspect the element here, and we've got our image here, and you can see all the orange around it, which is our margin. Now let's go back to our text editor, and there's a few other ways that we can actually use margin here. So when we're using the margin property, we can uh, specify a side like the top, right, bottom, or left, and simply do that by adding a dash, and then it will give you some options here. So in this case, let's do a margin bottom of 60 pixels, okay? So we'll keep that, uh, come back over to the browser and refresh it. And because we didn't add an even margin of 60 around the entire element, we've just specifically added it to the bottom, our images have sucked over to the left of the browser, and you can now see that there is a margin bottom of 60 to each one of these images. So if I select the image, uh, you can see the orange there. It's 60 pixels of margin below it. And if we dive into the uh, second image here, uh, we can see the same thing that we've got 60 pixels of margin below it. So pretty easy, that's margin. Margin creates space around an element, all right? So let's work with some padding now. And to do that, we're gonna create a button. So underneath uh, your image here, the last image, go ahead and create another div tag and we're gonna uh, wrap a button inside of this. So go ahead and just create a standard button. We can add a type of button and go ahead and add a class and we'll call this padding. Close it off and just write, I am the best button. Okay, cool. So let's look how this button looks right now. It's gonna be very sad. Uh, let me get rid of the inspector here. So this button has absolutely no styling to it. It's a very basic, boring looking button. So let's add some style properties uh, to it spice it up, and then let's work with some padding. All right, so let's go ahead and we're just gonna grab the button selector. And so right under our border image class, uh, we're just gonna grab the button and let's add a font color to it. And let's make it white. Let's add a background to it. And I'm gonna use the shorthand background and add a color of red. And let's add some rounded corners, so we're gonna add a border radius. And let's make this 12 pixels. And that's it for now, so let's see how our button looks. Go ahead and refresh. And now we've got a red button here. All right, and it does have a border on here, so I'm gonna remove that. But let me show you now how padding works. So let's come in here, 
let's add a border of none because uh, by default uh, HTML5 is going to give us a border. I don't want it. And then let's add a font size of 25 so we can actually see our button text. All right, so now let's go ahead and look at that. Go ahead and refresh. And now you can see that we have a decent looking button. So this is where padding uh, comes in. And the way padding works is it's going to create space within our element, unlike margin where it creates space outside of the element. So quick example, just like the border that we added to our image, we had a padding of five pixels, which took our border and it pushed it out from within our element. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with our button so you get a better idea how this works. So on our button, uh, go ahead and we're going to add a padding of 20 pixels. All right, and what this is going to do is it's going to create space from within the center of our element and it's going to push it out to the edges. So going here and then refreshing it, now you can see that this is starting to look more like a button, right? We've got our text in the middle, and what it's done is it's created 20 pixels of space from within the element, all right? So very cool. Now I want to show you a couple of other things that you can do with padding, and this also applies uh, to the way that you can set up margin. So let's come over to brackets, and you can actually put multiple values uh, within this padding property. So for an example, if I was to uh, create a space, I'm going to create this one uh, 20 pixels and let's change this one to 10. And I'm going to take you to the browser. I'm going to show you what's happening here. Now go ahead and let's inspect the element on our button and I'll show you what's happening here. So we've got our button uh, selected here. I'm going to come down here just a bit. We've got our button selected. I want you to expand the padding and you can see that it's added a padding of 10 pixels to the top and to the bottom and 20 to the right and to the left. So when you're working with multiple values in like a padding or a margin, for example, it's going to work clockwise. It works from the top, right, bottom, and left. All right, and when we add two values in there, it's going to take, because it starts with the top, all right, and the first value is going to take the top and the bottom, and then that second value, because it goes top to right, is going to take the right and the left. Now, what happens if we add three values in there and put an odd number? Uh, come back over to brackets, and let's put an odd number in here. I'm going to do 40 pixels uh, for this one. And back to the browser, uh, go ahead and refresh. Let's open up the padding again and see what it's doing with it. So the first value of 10 pixels, it's added to the top. Now it's taken the second value, uh, which is working clockwise so far, of the 20 pixels, and it's still adding it to the right and the left. And then the third value is going to go ahead and add the 40 pixels to the bottom. So you can see how that's changing the padding within our button. Now let's get a little bit crazy here. Uh, come back to brackets, and obviously, if I'm going to add a fourth value in here, it's going to work clockwise and go top, right, bottom, left. And so we can go ahead and add 60 pixels uh, to the left here. And coming back to the browser and we refresh that, we can see that we've got our 10, 20, 40, and 60. So that's a, a really cool thing that you can do. Uh, with padding and margins, you can add multiple values in there. And just remember that it works clockwise from top, right, left, and bottom. As a wrap for this lesson, we have covered margin and padding. Margin creates space outside of an element, and padding creates space within the element. Moving on.